Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are uh, continuing our uh, continuing our uncovering of, of the boron. So we're currently in the, the Great Reef, and um, I adjust my my mouse sensitivity here. It's a little a little too much. Uh, right about there is good. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're in the Great Reef. We're pick pretty much picking up right where we left off, uh, more or less. Uh, we did go up to Sanctuary of Darkness in the last episode and then uh, came back through. And um, so, yeah, I'm just right here at the Boron Wharf. Um, so let's go ahead and dock uh, with the wharf and just kind of take a, a quick look at their station because it's very unique, a very unique style. Of course... Um, you could say that about the split in the Docking granted. in the Paranid too. This is very cool. Uh, so this is kind of more like the Terrans in the sense that it's um, more of a circular, you know, indoor type of dock. This is really neat looking in here, though. Successfully docked. Uh, they have a lot more. The, they, as in the Boron, um, have a lot more of an. I guess what you might call an organic look uh, to, you know, to their architecture and stuff. Pretty neat looking, though. Um, if we were to hire a Boron pilot, I think they have, like, they have, like, suits and stuff that they can... Oh, that is weird looking. Um, you know, that they can walk around in. Uh, but they require a liquid atmosphere. Let's just go to the trader's corner really quick. Whoop. And there's nobody there. Oh, there they are. Okay. Hello. Okay, so they kind of have like suits that they can hover in. How interesting. Can I help? Okay. Um, let's go. take a look at the wares. Uh, I want to buy a one-star piloting. And we're in pretty good shape on the other types. Pleasant travels. Cool. Okay. There was another, um, another trader too, right? There's corner. Like there's maybe three. Can I help? Here you go. Get another one star license Pleasant or a uh, seminar, rather. That seems like maybe a, a female boron, perhaps. And then there's another trader's corner here. So there's like three, three different areas. Okay, that trader's not there. Sometimes if you, I've noticed if you walk away and kind of look out here and then turn around and go back, they show up, but maybe not in this particular case. This one must be on a coffee break if Boron uh, actually drink a coffee. I think that might be a bug though actually okay well anyway very cool looking though very very cool looking so we're not um real high in rep with these guys they have two different ship dealerships how interesting so this part of the building looks the same as it Normally would. Oh, we got a human that's here. That's uh that's rather interesting considering the fact that we just now in our in our story anyways uncovered them, but maybe that human has been with the boron for a Hello. long time. He got stuck in their space, which is entirely plausible. Um buy ships. So we could get a dolphin, which I think is a fairly slow. 
It's got lots of cargo, but it's slow, kind of like the uh, the Vulture is, if I recall right, unless they change something. And then I remember the Mako being a pretty darn fast ship. Um, if it had a a Mark III engine on it, the speed is still only 315, which is not... I mean, it's... Yeah, that's not that fast, actually. Hmm, I thought the Mako was like a really fast ship, but maybe not. I'm not sure how the Boron Shields compare to the other races either. Uh, they've got the Arc Gun, uh, the Ion Gatling... And a phase gun. So those are new uh, to uh, the Boron race. Okay, I'm not actually going to buy a ship from them right now. It's just more curious than anything else. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get back into our ship and continue exploring and uncovering more Boron territory. Pegasus, We're just going to do the magic shift D. Hello. Since I had no idea where my ship was, of course, we could have gotten there from the transporter thingy, too. Okay. Let's undock. We were in Bay 6. Well, Bay 6 on this side, anyway. Huh. Okay. All right, so I have called over my three scouts. Uh, so scout one is uncovering watchful gaze just to see if there's anything else potentially in the sector. Scout three is working on barren shores. And it looks like it's got most of that uncovered already. And then scout two is working here in um, Great Reef. So this is an unknown object, which means it is most likely either an actual gate or it is an accelerator. Uh, so let's go ahead and head on over to that. Entering system, Ocean of Fantasy. Ocean of Fantasy, that also sounds like a familiar sector from... Uh, from the older games. Look at that. Man, that planet's bright. Okay, I'll take a look at the map here. We will do a scan. Couple of stations show up there. Okay, let's um, basically head quote unquote south here. That looks like it might be an in an inactive Unknown gate, object. though. Let's fly to it and see what happens. Yeah. It's an inactive jump gate. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. There's a station that way. We'll head to that station and then... Um, actually, here, let's do a scan r uh, right now. Long range scan. Boron trading station. Trading station, okay. Alright, let's head to the east here. showing up. Okay. Let's go to the west then. Uh, 
head towards the planet. Seems to be some debris and stuff over here. Hmm. So is this it? Just these three systems? That doesn't seem likely. Um, all right. I guess what we'll do then is maybe go further south and see if we can find another gate. Um, or it's possible that there's there could be a gate off this way too uh so what i'm going to do guys i'm going to cut the camera i'm going to keep looking around a little bit more and then i'll bring you back uh, when i find another gate or if i don't find another gate and uh yeah i'll bring you back in a little bit here all right guys so i did not find um another gate outside of ocean of fantasy or great reef uh, so I guess what we'll do is we'll we'll just let our scouts continue exploring and completely opening up the sectors, and you know maybe they will come across something. If not, then I guess these are the only three boron sectors that are available to us. Um, I know in the older game there were you know there were boron sectors in different areas of the overall map. So that could also potentially be the case here for us. I'm not really sure. Uh, but nothing else is really happening at this point. I don't have any uh, any missions for, you know, that I can continue anything as far as a mission goes. And so, yeah, I guess um, that's about as far as we can take it at this point anyway. Uh, so what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to send some courier class, um, you know, small trader class ships over here to start trading in this area so that we can, you know, get re a reputation up with the boron. Um, I was kind of hoping, you know, that we would be able to open up a few more sectors so we could bring uh, one of our advanced traders over here. But with just these three sectors, I don't know. I'm not sure uh, how useful that would be i guess if we based the trader and watchful gaze they could get all the way down to ocean of fantasy and still also get up into these three sectors and into there so i guess we could try that maybe um speaking of which let's take a look and see if we have any captains that are ready to be promoted to a trader uh, so dina Kirk, maybe just Kirk, I don't know, is currently, you know, the next one. In fact, we have her and then a few more here that are getting close, uh, but they're still not quite there yet. I need to get them back into some more combat uh, to get them all the way up to level three, and then we can convert these pilots to advanced traders as well. So, uh, what that means then for us is I think we're going to head back to Grand Exchange and I think we're going to continue the Cigaris Pioneers mission because that scientist dude is still sitting right here <laughs> in his ship waiting for us. Um, so, that hopefully, my guess is that by doing that, you know, that will open up the Terran, the, the main Terran sectors uh, to us i guess i don't know uh, i haven't seen you guys' comments yet uh, from the last episode uh, on that um and like i said i'll get some small uh, traders some courier class traders over into the boron sectors uh, to start getting rep with those guys speaking of rep let's look at a couple of things so so we're 14 with cigaris now um, I've got one courier up in the Vigor Syndicate space working on that. So we started off with minus five. Now we're down to minus three. So that's improving. And then uh, for, again, provinces adrift, we will 
start working on rep with them. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's hop out of our seat and let our pilot fly us back home so they can get a little bit more XP. Hello. Hello. Select OG's Scout, and we'll just have you dock back at Reaver Industries. Pegasus, Vanguard. Okay, and then while he's working on that, let's go to uh, the Allied Wharf here. And we're going to... We have to unselect our ship, buy ships, and um, we normally go with the Tethys Vanguard, Reaver Industries Courier. What I, Entering system, Baron Shores. What I need to do is I need to have a two-star pilot in these ships. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's buy two of these. All right, so we're going to call these um, Courier. Uh, we'll just call them Courier, but then we're going to name them Courier three and four, because I think we have two, maybe we have three, I don't know. Add those to the shopping list. Let's make two of them. And uh, if we look here, yeah, I've got courier one and two. Courier two is currently in grand exchange. What? You should be on fill shortages. You are. Okay. He's doing his thing then. Um, and then the other one's down here in the cigars sector. Just basically trading, well, trading whatever he's trading. All of this stuff. Entering uh, but system. MREs Watch in particular. Days. And he's the one that's really been getting our rep up with these guys here. They've got quite a few stations in this sector too. So once these are finished, we'll, we'll probably, unless the pilots happen to be two-star pilots, which doesn't really happen very often, if ever, uh, we'll exchange a couple other two-star pilots with these two, and then we'll get them over to Boron Space. All right, so we will call you Courier 3. And you could be Courier 4. Let's look at your pilot. Yeah, see, it's not even a full one star. Uh, you know what we could do, though, actually, with this guy? Um, we could Can I help? do basic seminar piloting and one star piloting. Good boy. And that gets him up to. Gets him up to two. Okay, cool. Uh, so he can just stay where he is then. So what I want you to do then is I want you to go to uh, I want you to fill shortages. Uh, well, actually, no. I think I need to first tell him to come here. Uh, so let's tell him to fly and wait, get him over here first, and then we'll tell him to fill shortages. <laughs> and if we just do Bofu and Bo Gas, which is the boron food, and medical supplies, and probably spices and s maybe stimulants, I don't know. And maybe water. That should keep him in this area. 
because they're going to be the, well, at least for Bofu and Bogas, they're going to be the only consumers of those things. All right, so let's click OK, click Confirm. Excellent. All right, let's go back to here. Let's go to Courier 4. And that pilot is already a one star, so if we just... Give you a one star, that should get you up to... Two star pilot, okay. Um, likewise, we're going to also send you to Boron Space. Um, we might have you, let's send him, him to this sector and you might have him trade some of the trading station stuff, uh, but we'll see when he gets there. Thing is those, I can't, I can only do either fill shortages or sector trade. And if I do sector trade, then I can only do one resource. So we'll still probably do fill shortages, but we'll see what's here and then have him kind of trade in. Oh my goodness, look at all the stuff they have. Wow. <laughs> they got a lot of stuff there. Um, you know, have them, you know, trade in some of these things here, I guess. Some of these require like a larger ship though. Why do they have Nostrop oil? That's a Tilati uh, uh, um, food. Well, and they have Soja House too. So I guess for other races in case they come by maybe. Okay, well let's wait till he gets over there and then we'll then we'll get him set up to uh, but more focused on the trading station rather than the general food items. Uh, looks like there might be a quest there too. But Okay, cool. So um, what we're going to do then, like I said, is we're going to go back home. And we're going to then continue working on the quest line for the Cigars Pioneers, which, again, I'm hoping will open up the Terran space for us. So I'll see you guys when we get back there. I have something to ask of anyone willing to help our ailing community. Thanks to the newly opened trade routes, we have commenced rebuilding our shipyard. You are, of course, most welcome to aid us in our undertaking. Your efforts will, of course, be lucratively compensated. Okay, so that came up before, but it doesn't actually give us a mission. There's no mission here to help them with their shipyard. So I, I'm a little confused about, about what we're supposed to do there. If we go to here, I don't have like any messages to that effect. I don't have any missions to that effect. So how are we supposed to help them rebuild their shipyard? Maybe we have to go to, what are you doing? Can I help? Um, I thought I told you to go home. <laughs> Goodbye. Hold on a second. Did I accidentally cancel that command or something? What is the... Oh, there it is right there. You know what? Why don't we go back there, actually, and see what that's all about? Because... They're going to want us to deliver all of this stuff. All of which we manufacture ourselves. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and take this quest then. There it is. Provinces adrift. And that's how many of those we need to deliver. Dang, man, that seems like a lot of stuff. I wonder if it's time for us to purchase a, a large freighter. Um, that reminds me too. A couple of you uh, did respond in the comments and in, informed me that I want to have. Um, wait a minute, where are you going? Are you going back home now? 
uh, inform me that the car what the cargo drones do indeed unload uh, the large ships uh, much more efficiently um, but you said that only I, I can only have up to 30 if I myself am also in sector and one of you said you thought but you didn't it didn't seem like you knew for certainty but you thought that more would work if I'm not in the sector but the thing is, is I often hang out here in Grand Exchange and just kind of monitor my empire uh, so we'll get 30 for sure uh, but wait a minute, what is this guy doing? Why And why was he stopped? He is... Entering system. Heretics yeah, he's home. going home. Okay. I don't know why he was stopped for a while. That seems off, kind of weird, but... Okay, whatever. Uh, we don't... Ourselves... We ourselves don't need to go back uh, to the shipyard. Um, but we do need to start working on getting them their stuff. Uh, which will also help us with our uh, reputation with them okay so let's see here um we uh let's go to the let's go to our station and uh, so we got about another five mil or so in the station that we can transfer to our account which brings us up to 92 million i really kind of wanted to purchase a destroyer in a 10 squadron wing of chimeras as our next really big purchase um and i have not even I, i've not even looked at all at large freighters uh, i have not compared them i don't know which one's the best one to get or anything like that um but if we let's say if we went with a Paranid large freighter because I, I tend to go with the Paranid ships at least for the industry side of things um i don't think we can get large ships at allied let's look yeah see that's just medium and small all right so if we go to trinity sanctum or Actually, let's go down here to We need the shipyard, right? Okay. Buy ships large. So they have the Helios. There's the Helios E, the Helios Sentinel and the Helios or the Selene Sentinel. All right, what kind of money are we talking about for a high preset okay so 14.8 million for the helios e <clears throat> uh the helios sentinel high preset is 13.1 million and the selene sentinel is 13 million so they're all around 12, 13 ish million. If we, <clears throat> if we, what are you doing? Dude, you're pissing me off. Get out of there. Hello. Let's have autopilot take us home. Autopilot engaged. Okay, um, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's go to. The encyclopedia. All right, so we were looking at the Helios E freighter. There's also a Helios Sentinel freighter and a Vanguard. Entering system. Let's do a Watch high preset days. on the Helios E. I, I'm, I'm tend to want to go towards the Sentinels if they have more capacity because I'm going to definitely give them a fighter wing to protect them. And the Sentinels will be a little tougher. Alright, let's, so let's confirm that. So even just between these two, the Helos is definitely tougher. The Selene is a little more fat, a little faster and a little more maneuverable. Um, 
uh, but the Helios has a lot more storage space. All right, let's look at... The Selene Vanguard. My preset. Yeah, both of those ships can have 40 small ships. That, that would seem to suggest that they're a carrier. If that was the case... And then one of them got attacked, they could just launch their fighter wing and kick the shit out of whatever's attacking them rather than having the fighters just fly around. Of course, it would take longer for the fighters to launch, but I mean, this is a big, large ship. It would be able to take a pounding for a little while. Vanguard goes faster, which of course is to be expected. Hmm, I don't know. I, I'm not, I, I, this is my very first experience with large freighters in this game, so. Let's look at a couple of other race ships uh, for freighters. So there's the Buffalo, which is, I believe, a split ship. Do a high preset on that. And let's also look at Encarcatura uh, Sentinel, which is the... Uh, Argon ship. Do a high preset there. Okay, so, and Karkatura has a lot more hull and a lot more uh, shielding. It's quite a bit slower though, but it's got a crap ton more storage space. And if I'm reading this correctly, it can have 40. Ship capacities. So, I think what this means is that you could have two, I guess what you might call surface docked ships, but then 40, like, in the hangar? I don't quite understand that, because that seems to Entering system. suggest that this is a, a carrier. I don't know. I'm, I'm really confused about that. Let me try, let's try something real quick, just for the hell of it. Let's put a Raptor on here, um, only because I want to see how it, this, those specs look. Okay, so a Raptor shows 21 S-Docs, but a ship capacity of 100. I'm pretty sure what that means is there's 21 ships that are docked and ready to go, but there's a, another 100 that can be in storage. So if that's the case, that would seem to indicate that these some of these freighters can be almost like carriers as well. There's also the Talati Pelican... Pelican... Um, let's look at the uh, Sentinel version of that. All right, so the Pelican can also have 40 ships and two docked, ready to go. Also has a lot of storage space, but actually I think the Incark Tura. Uh, had a lot more. You know, I don't think I'm. I would want to go with the Buffalo. It's it's pretty weak sauce. Let's let's put the Incarcatura back up here for a second. Uh, we'll go with the Sentinel. All right. So the Incarcatura is a, has a lot more hull, um, though it has less shields than the Talati. But it actually has more storage than the Pelican. And and quite a bit more crew, too. <clears throat> I don't know, man. That Incarcatura... Incarcatura. Yeah, I think that's how you say that. Is looking like the best option so far. It, it is slow, though. But, I mean, this is a big old freighter. It doesn't have to be super fast. And it's not ever going to try and escape any enemies. It's just going to kill them. Uh, or its squadron of 
fighters protecting it's going to kill them. <laughs> How much does that sucker cost? Um, oh, it looks like autopilot's got us home, but it doesn't have us docked. Wait a second. Oh no, it took... <laughs> I think it took us back to the shipyard. In the boron space. Alright, hold on a second. Yeah, it took us back to the boron shipyard. Okay. OG scout, select it. Um... Start guidance to object. Autopilot engaged. So busy messing around with these large ships, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's go back to here. Um, let's go to the Argon shipyard and go buy ships. All right, they don't have the Sentinel; they only have the Vanguard. I don't think we have access to another Argon shipyard unless well we do have one in Antigone entering system barren shores yeah they've got the sentinel okay so the high preset on this sucker is 18 million <laughs> but I mean I'm this seems to me like it's maybe the best um, L freighter in the game If we... It has a Mark 1 Argon Travel Drive. And it comes with... We could give it... Uh, we'd even just give it the lowest thruster because, again, they don't really care about how fast it can move or maneuver. Got the Mark II shields. It's got four turrets. That's nice. Um, Entering system. Watchful gaze. It doesn't give us the option, though, of flak turrets. But if we took it back to Argon Space, we could probably get flak turrets on it. Oh, you know one thing I didn't look at? Is there a difference between the storage space between the Sentinel and the Vanguard? There is a difference. So the Vanguard's less hull, a little bit more shield, but a fairly significantly less amount of cargo space. And just marginally more maneuverable and faster. So I still think the Sentinel is, is what I would go with for this particular ship. I'm not sure I want to do that though anyways you guys because here again that's a lot of money. <laughs> 18 million. If we got this now we I wouldn't have enough money to get my destroyer and my wing of chimera fighters which I really want to do because uh, I want to really start pounding some pirates and taking out some pirate stations and stuff like that. Entering system. Um, so we, you know, we could put our, we could put our um, Hermes ships, our medium ships, um, working on that for the for the boron. So I think that's probably what we'll do. All right, guys, um, in looking at this mission, um, I don't think we have to provide all of these units. We just have to provide some of them. Um, so that makes things quite a bit easier. And I am going to hold off on, on getting a freighter for now. We will definitely get one or probably multiple freighters down the road, but um, I think... What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to get a Rattlesnake and a, a Tin Squadron, a Chimera Squadron, with our money. Um, but we're not going to do that in this episode, of course. Uh, so, 
We, uh, I'm out of whole parts, uh, so my dudes have already sold off everything I made, but we do have Claytronics energy cells and water. So what I'm going to do is let's, uh, let's grab some of our station hauling ships. Okay, so that guy's got quantum tubes, that guy's got antimatter cells, that one has antimatter. This one has nothing. So what I want you to do is um, dock and wait. Station hauler 5 has nothing, so dock and wait. And 6 has some antimatter cells that they're selling. So we can at least get 4 and 5 uh, loaded up and send them over uh, to Boron Space. And probably what I'll do... Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to accompany them over there. I might do that um, just to make sure they're, you know, not a, not attacked. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And uh, I'll start providing these resources uh, to the Boron and help them get their shipyard going. Um, I'm... I have to assume, and I don't know this because I haven't, you know, I haven't watched anybody else play this uh, DLC. I don't know anything about it, but I have to assume that at some point, as we continue to help them, more gates are going to open up. Like we did find this inactive gate here, uh, because Kingdom End, which is the name of the DLC, is their home sector. So I have to assume at some point that sector and maybe even more of the Boron sectors will open up for us. So we'll uh, we'll work with them on that storyline. I also want to get going with uh, Cigaris as well. Uh, so we'll resume helping out um, this science uh, science ship that's been patiently waiting for us for a long time now, uh, in hopes that that will open up the Terran sectors for us, so we can get down in there and start getting up with them. Uh, so that's coming up, and then I am going to buy a rattlesnake that is the plan um i've looked at s different destroyers and the rattlesnake appeals to me because a it's got the most hull uh, albeit the shields are pretty weak but it's got a, a ton more hull than just about any other destroyer uh, that is accessible to me right now and it also has um the best firepower too that thing packs a punch because you know it's a split ship right so my thought is uh, a rattlesnake in a 10 squadron a chimera um a fighter squadron to escort the rattlesnake and then what we're going to do is we're going to start taking out the trash with that thing so uh you know i'm constantly being harassed by pirates losing ships to them uh, so we are going to take out this sca pirate base that's in our territory we're going to probably go down uh go over here to trinity sanctum seven and take out the Buccaneers, because the Buccaneers are also constantly harassing my ships going through here. And, um, you know, just just start taking the fight back to those those guys, because they're, they're just a pain in the butt. Uh, plus, it'll be fun, too. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the plan for stuff coming up. There's still a, a lot of things to do in this game. Um, I haven't even done anything, really, with research. Uh, so I want to get back going, you know, going back on that too at some point. I did go ahead and uh, order 50 cargo drones for the station because, uh, first of all, we can lose some of them, and secondly, some of you, were, like I said earlier in this episode, were saying that you thought more drones would activate if I'm not in the sector myself. So I, I just ordered 50 of those. Okay, guys. So yeah, I'm going to start working on hauling stuff over to Kingdom End. And I'll probably, uh, you know, work off uh, off camera for a while doing that. If anything significant happens uh, between now and the next episode, I'll, I'll try and capture that and uh, show you, you know, those clips. Uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.